Welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica and I am so excited that you are joining us for the start of our movie special effects week and we are kicking it off with some creepy things of making wounds. Now this is really cool. People use all sorts of different things to make wounds in the movies. In fact, when I was researching this project, I learned that people love to use burnt chicken skin to help mimic burnt skin in real life and they will take burnt chicken skin and they will use that in the makeup which I thought was really cool and today we're gonna make a wound that we can stick something in if we want to and we can make that wound bloody if we want to make it bloody it's gonna be oh so great and perfect for Halloween so what you need for this the main thing that you need is just some powdered gelatin and some hot water if you want to really make your wound stick out you might want some blood. I've got some red paint. You could use some red food coloring for that. And then to make the wound blend in with your skin, you want some sort of makeup in your skin tone that you can sort of smear on the top and that will let it sort of blend in with the skin. And we've got a couple things. We've got some clear plastic from our recycling bin that we can use to cut pretend glass shard pieces that we can stick into our wound to make it, oh, just that much worse. This is gonna be my stir, but I was also thinking it could be cool to stick a fork in that wound I and we'll see what it's like, gonna be I like. I feel like mine should go up here because this oh, is white yeah. and this is left. And you will, Georgia brings up a great point. You'll have to think about where you want to put your wound. On our printout, I have a picture of what I did the first time. I did it on my hand, but I love that Georgia is thinking about putting it more on her arm. I, I might I not good. put it on my face. I don't know about my mom, mm. but I'm not going to put it on She's her face. She's not going to put it on her face, and that's totally okay. This stuff, the great thing about it is it's going to be totally safe for you to put on your face, on your arms, wherever you want to put it to make this gory wound. It's going to be great. Except it on your butt crack. Okay. <laughs> Except there. All right. So, let's get started. We're going to empty about half of your plain gelatin into a bowl. All right. And I'm going to add a little more because I got Georgia and I want to make sure we got plenty to make our wounds with. All we're saving the rest for is if we want to make another batch that's got the blood in it, all right? So we're going to add a little bit of hot water. And now we don't want to add a ton of hot water because we want it to be really thick and dense, our gelatin. So I'm going to mix it around and you can actually... Can mix it? Yeah. You should be able to see it's going to get like sort of nice and thick. And it's going right? to get a little bit really yellow. Yeah, it's a little yellow. If it's really watery, you want to add a little more gelatin. If it's too thick and it's like really um, grainy, you could add a little bit more water. In fact, I'm looking at ours, I'm thinking maybe we'll add a little bit more gelatin. But you can see that it's really quite thick. So we're going to add a little more gelatin to ours. And then we're all ready. Now, if you know that your makeup is going to blend in with your skin tone, you could actually add it now and color this already. And so if you just add a little bit in, you can see now it's already it's got that skin color to it. And we just want to really, it's pretty great. Look at how goofy that is. Now this is warm. When it sets, this gelatin is going to set and it's going to be nice and thick and rigid. So what you're going to want to do is you want to build up your wound before that happens. I'm going to add just a little more gelatin. I like mine really, really thick so you can actually like make mounds in these wounds. I think that's kind of a fun idea. Color. So what we're going to do now is you're going to just choose where you want it. All right, George is going to put it on her arm. I'm going to put it sort of more towards my hand. And you're just going to start smearing it. Now we use hot water, but it doesn't feel hot. It kind of feels warm on my hand. So you can smear this however you want. I like to smear it really good sort of along the edges so that it kind of blends in a little bit more. I'm going to give this to Georgia so that she can add hers. I'm just going to sort of, oh I can already see it starting to dry. Nice and goopy. It's going to be great. All right, so we have added some of this to our skin. It's looking pretty terrible in there. Now I have a bunch of this that is left over. What you do with that, if you wanted to, you could put it out on some wax paper and make your own sort of 
creepy flesh things that you could then add to your skin with a little bit of glue underneath. If you put a little Elmer's glue underneath, it'll stick on there. So you can make a mold if you wanted a mold, or you could just like take this out and I don't know, make something that's super duper creepy. Like this would go great on like a platter of like, I don't know, eyeballs or something like that. Could go around it to decorate. It's very sticky, but that stickiness will sort of go away over time. Oh, it's just like slime. It's kind I'm of just add, like slime. I'm gonna add some glitter to it and make Ooh, it more slime. I love that. All right, so the other thing we can add to our wound is some blood. So we're gonna use just a little bit, like a drop. Let's just start with one drop. Just one drop. Just a drop boop, of red paint for ours. You might decide you want more. I'm gonna add in the rest of my unflavored gelatin. And we're gonna add in a little bit of water again. Now you don't wanna add a lot of water with this one either because we do want it to sort of set up and congeal nicely. Oh, this is a great it's pretty. red color. So pretty. Yes, although I think our, our water was maybe not hot enough, which is okay. We can pause the video and we're gonna get some hotter water for ourselves and we'll come back and we'll show you the blood part, all right? All right, so we're back with some more gelatin to make our blood. We've got some nice hot water this time because gelatin does really like hot water. So you put whatever you had as the rest of your package, we've got a whole new package, so we can't quite do that. And you just want a little bit of water again. We don't want our blood to be quite as thick as the wound, the skin that we made, because blood's a little thinner. What about the drip of paint? Yes, Georgia is on me, she's got it. We need a drip of paint in here too. So we're gonna add that. It doesn't have to be, it can be any color. It can Could be, be blue. Any. Blue would be like blood that's in our body is coming back. Oh. Yeah. I might just make blue stuff just so it, you can. Or maybe out. you just didn't want it to be blood, like human blood. Maybe you want a green, like alien blood. Ugh. Oh, that'd be so great. Don't you think? I would just think that would be. Maybe too scary? scary. Okay, maybe that's too scary. All right, we're gonna let we're gonna let our blood cool for a moment as we make something. If you want, you can put something into your wound. All right, so you could cut a piece of plastic like this, and you probably want to cut it like it's a shard. Like, ooh, that might look like it hurts a lot. I'm gonna cut this shard, maybe in a triangle like this. I have this little shard of plastic. And what you can do is you can just squeeze it under your makeup and it will pop out like that. And so now it looks sort of like I've got this shard of glass inside this makeup. You can add more than one piece. You can add it sticking straight up or down. You can just poke it on in there. Oh, wow, that looks painful. Ooh, ouch. Glass. And the nice thing is, is it all moves with your hand on there because that gelatin is stuck nice and tight. So I've got all this glass. Oh man, I really wish that I had not gotten all this glass on me. That was terrible. I think I'm gonna actually remove this one. This was my least favorite one. I'm gonna cut it a little sharper. Maybe come in like this. Can something draw on this thing? Like and it's, it's nice because it sort of cuts that gelatin as you go. So now I've got some glass in there. Oh, ouchie, that really hurts. And you can add little drips of blood wherever you want. Notice that my blood is not quite as thick. It will also thicken up. Of course, it won't thicken up as thick. If you want it to thicken up as thick, add a little more. And that's totally fine. All right, so our blood is just about ready. I'm just gonna drip some of it over here by these pieces of glass because, ouch, that looks painful. Now I'm gonna wait for this guy to dry. The blood is gonna congeal, just like real blood congeals and gets thicker as it dries. And you could always add a little bit more. Maybe in here there's some blood. I'm gonna add some right here. Coloring can be really important. Maybe I have a drip coming down. Look. Ooh, that's good. Oh, Georgia drew her blood on, which is kind of a cool idea, too. I've got sort of this drip of blood coming down. 
Ouch. But I may wash it off right after. That did not feel good to just get punched like that, Georgia. Wow, that really, I don't even understand. Where did all this glass come from? And here's a cool thing. We got a top down view so I can show you guys this. This is what's really cool is if somebody tries to take the glass out, it gives you resistance and it moves the whole thing so it makes it seem like it's gonna glasses. hurt you even more. Ooh, Georgia's having a little trouble getting her glass in. You just gotta poke it on in there. Did you get it? There you go. Georgia's getting some glass in hers. I'll cut you a few pieces. We put some paper clips in ours before. You can put a knife in there if you're like, oh God, there's a knife. Be really careful if you use a knife, of course. But you can do all sorts of things that you can add into this wound. Oh, oh, oh. oh here, I'll let you do that. So you can feel your own skin underneath all of that awesome gelatin. Now I have this super creepy wound. If you want it to blend in a little better with your skin, you can use a little bit more makeup and you can tap it on. You do that how you want. I would probably blend that as good as I'm you can get it beforehand. So it cut through. Oh, Georgia got hers just slightly through in and out. Ooh, that looks terrible. It looks like we had a terrible day. Ouch. That looks really painful. And now we have this super gory special effect wound. And all you needed was a little bit of coloring, a little bit of makeup, some things from your recycling bin, and of course, some gelatin and hot water. It's pretty great. It's a great way to kick off our special effects week and a great tool that you can use maybe come this weekend for Halloween. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. It's awesome to have you guys with us. I hope that we see you guys later on this week as we make fog machines and even breakable glass. Have a good one. Bye, friends. Oh, ouch, are you sure you're okay? Should we go to the hospital? Oh no, what did you do? Oh, when did this happen? Ouch! Oh, oh, that hurts. Does it hurt when I touch it? Ouch, really? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. How should we get that out? Oh, can you pull it out? Oh. It didn't hurt to pull it out. Oh, I'm gonna pull this one out, really. Ouch. This one. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, oh god, that was terrible. Ow. Ouch, that really hurt. Oh. Mine out, so there's no. Oh.